Here we're going to look at a problem from the 2013 Spanish Mathematical Olympiad. This is question four. And the question goes like this. Are there infinitely many positive integers that cannot be expressed in the form a cubed plus b to the fifth plus c to the seventh plus d to the ninth plus e to the eleventh? where a, b, c, d, and e are all positive integers. In other words, they're natural numbers. Now, before we get into this problem, I wanna give some motivation for maybe how this problem was invented and a hint for how to solve it. So, as far as I can tell, the motivation here comes from the fact that every positive integer is expressible as the sum of four squares, which means if we were to replace this with four squares instead of five numbers like where you have these different exponents, then the answer would be no. There are in fact zero positive integers that are not expressible as the sum of four squares. I actually have a playlist from my number theory course last year where I build up to that proof if you guys want to check that out. And then here's a nice hint that I think we can use. We want to fix some natural number n and then bound the number of positive integers that are expressible in this form above by some nice function of n. And this nice function of n will have some relationship between these exponents. Okay, so maybe give this problem a go and then we'll come back with a solution. Hopefully that hint was useful and now we're gonna get into a solution. So like I said before, we're going to fix some natural number n, and eventually we wanna take that natural number to infinity to prove that there are actually infinitely many numbers that cannot be expressed in this form, but we'll get there. And now we wanna notice that we can build our upper bound for the number of expressible numbers in this way. So number expressible, and what I mean by that, this is the number of positive integers that are expressible in this form right here. So notice the number of expressible numbers is going to necessarily be less than or equal to the number of tuples A, B, C, D, and E building these expressions. So you might be able to build a single number via two different types of tuples, so that's why I say it's less than or equal to. Okay, great. And now the next thing to notice is that this is going to in turn be less than or equal to the number of choices for the number a in this equation times the number of choices for b in this equation, and then so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and write that down. Number choices C, number choices D, times number choices E. Great, and now here's the really important step. Notice when we're counting the number of choices, we're taking a product but it, it'll actually be nice to turn this product into a sum, and we can do that by bounding above by something that's exponential. And so let's go ahead and point that out. So this hints that we bound by the following setup. So this, all of this is going to be less than or equal to n to some exponent. And that's because if we can bound each of these parts by n to some exponent, when we like do that multiplication, we're actually doing addition. And what we're trying to get at here is that addition will not catch up to the size of multiplication. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then we'll dive into the rest of the solution. Okay, so on the last board, we hinted that we needed to bound this above by some sort of n to some power, and in fact, we're going to bound uh, in the following way. So we will bound, so I'll write this number of expressible less than or equal to n 
to the five times seven times nine times 11. And so that's gonna be n to the power of three, four, six, five. And I might as well point that out, that this number is the LCM of three, five, seven, nine, and 11, which is why we're not multiplying by three here because it's built into the factor of nine. So let's go ahead and see why that works. So now we wanna notice that if the number that we are expressing is smaller than or equal to n to the three, four, six, five, then each of the pieces in this expression is also less than that number. In other words, n to the three, four, six, five. So we have the following inequalities. We have a cubed needs to be less than n to the three, four, six, five. We have b to the fifth needs to be less than n to the three, four, six, five. We have c to the seventh must be less than n to the three, four, six, five, and so on and so forth. So d to the nine and e to the 11 are both smaller than n to the power 3,465. Great, but if those powers of a, b, c, d, and e are less than n to the 3,465, then we can really get some sort of idea for the size of the numbers a, b, c, and d. And this is why it was important to use the LCM here, so we could take a perfect cube, fifth, seventh, ninth, and eleventh root of this thing on the right hand side. Okay, so now notice that this means that a is less than, well, it's gonna be three, four, six, five divided by three. I'll let you guys do all the arithmetic, but what we get here is into the one, one, five, five. And then here we have B is going to be less than N to the 693. We have C is less than N to the 495. D will be less than N to the 385. And then finally E will be less than N to the 315. Okay, great. So that means how many choices are there for A? Well, there are at most n to the 1155 choices for A. So let's maybe go ahead and write that down. So choices for A, that's going to be less than or equal to n to the 1155. And this is going to follow for the choices for B, C, D, and E. So let's maybe write down one more of those, but then all the rest of it is the same. So the choices for B will be less than or equal to N to the 693. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll clean this up and then I'll bring it back to what we had on the last board and finish the problem off. Okay, so on the very first board, we determined that the number of expressibles, in other words, the number of positive integers that can be expressed in this form was less than or equal to the number of choices for A times the number of choices for B all the way up to the number of choices for E, where A, B, C, D, and E formed the tuples that built those expressions. Okay, and then on the last board, we determined an upper bound for each of these numbers. In other words, an upper bound for the number of choices for A, an upper bound for the number of choices for B, and so on and so forth. So I'll let you guys recall that from the last board, but now we'll just input that into the right-hand side of this inequality. So we get that this is going to be less than or equal to N to the 1155 times N to the 693 times n to the 495, times n to the 385, times n to the 315. Now we can use exponent rules to simplify this expression. So I'll let you guys check that out, but that's going to be easily shown to be equal to n to the 3043. So let's see what we've got here. I've left a little bit out, but let's fix that. So this is the number of expressibles each less than or equal to n to the three, four, six, five. That was our whole construction. So what we do is take all of the numbers that are between one and n to the three, four, six, five, and we have determined that the maximum number of them that are expressible is equal to 
n to the 3, 0, 4, 3. In other words, the total number of expressibles that are less than n to the 3, 4, 6, 5 is less than or equal to this number right here. But now what we can do is use this to build a complementary inequality involving the non-expressible numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. So the non-expressibles less than or equal to n to the 3, 4, 6, 5. So that's going to be bigger than or equal to the total number of positive integers between 1 and this number right here, n to the 3,465, minus this thing that we calculated before, n to the 3, 0, 4, 3. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So that's, like I said, that's bigger than or equal to n to the 3, 4, 6, 5, minus n to the 3, 0, 4, 3. But maybe we could like factor out a greatest common factor from that, and that would obviously be this right-hand term here. So that's gonna be equal to n to the 3, 0, 4, 3 times n to the 4, 2, 2, minus 1. But now we can use the fact that for all positive integers, at least all positive integers that are bigger than 1, this number right here is definitely bigger than or equal to 1 which makes this whole expression bigger than or equal to n to the 3, 0, 4, 3. Great. And then the very last step here is to notice that this number goes to infinity as n approaches infinity. And so what we have is that the total number of non-expressible numbers that are less than this number right here is bigger than or equal to n to the 3043, which means if we look for the total number of non-expressible numbers, that's gonna be the limit of what's inside of this box. But then taking the limit of this right-hand side, we see that's infinite. So in other words, the number of non-expressibles is infinite. So we uh, answer this question in the affirmative, and that's a good place to stop.